In the beef industry, everyone is familiar with the concept of a calving season. Whether that be the fall or the spring, the calving season refers to the range of days for which cows are managed to calve. For example, 60 days. Having a defined calving season has several benefits, but today we're going to talk about a different concept, calving distribution. Calving distribution refers to the percentage of cows calving by a given day of the calving season. Of course, you can calculate this for any day of the calving season, but a helpful metric is to use days that correspond to the length of the estrus cycle, which is 21 days long. So for example, what total percentage of cows have calved by day 21? What about day 42? Calculating this for your whole herd can give you some idea of your reproductive performance, but break down these results for different management groups or for different age ranges of cows in your herd. You might be able to find some problems you can work to fix next year. The more calves born early in the calving season, the higher the productivity of the herd. More early born calves means heavier calves at weaning, older replacement heifers, and more time after calving for cows to resume normal estrus cycles before the start of the next breeding season. Several years ago, we implemented an estrus synchronization and AI program at the University of Missouri Thompson Research Center. And even though this herd's natural service program was well managed, we found we shifted the calving distribution earlier by using estrus synchronization and even earlier using estrus synchronization and timed AI. Why? Well, when using timed AI, all of the cows are given an opportunity to conceive on the first day of the breeding season. And if they fail to become pregnant, they have a second opportunity when they cycle back around day 21. In a natural service system, cycling cows only have one chance to conceive in the first 21 days of the breeding season. And not all cows are cycling when the breeding season starts. So some of the cows don't even have their first chance until late in the breeding season. So what pregnancy rates can you get from using timed AI on the first day of the breeding season? Let's take a look at some real world numbers. In the Show Me Select Replacement Heifer Program, 37,000 heifers on producer herds across Missouri have received timed AI using the 14-day cedar protocol. Across all of those heifers, pregnancy rates have averaged 50%. And timed AI works for mature cows too. A few years ago, the University of Missouri conducted a large series of field demonstrations on producer herds all across the state using the 7-day CoSync plus cedar protocol. There were over 7,000 cows across 73 cow herds, and pregnancy rates to timed AI averaged 63%. Timed AI works, and the proof is in the calves. Follow Mizzou Repro on Facebook and YouTube, and we'll make sure you stay up to date on all the advancements in AI technologies.